Welcome to the SPX Options Trading Series by AlphaCrunching.com. Now let's get into the video. Hey everybody, it's Eric. In this video, we're going to talk about the big idea, the key concepts around time series trading. And I want to talk a little bit about how we got to this point. So in our original research that we did, and you'll find in the archive of the course, we determined that each day is different. Each day needs to be treated differently. And back then, SPX zero DTE, for example, was only Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you couldn't really do one DTE on Monday because the expirations weren't until Wednesday. So now that SPX has gone five days a week, it's really important, this concept's really important that to understand that each day is actually different. And what do I mean by that? The behavior of the market uh, tends to be different for each particular day of the week. And there are some days that tend to be more bullish than others. And there's some days that tend to be more bearish or maybe more neutral than others. And those things change over time as we'll talk about. But as a starting point, we need to understand that each day should be treated differently. I'm gonna illustrate that here in a minute as well as these other concepts. The other concept that we've learned was that time of day matters. And what does that mean? The best time of day for short-term trades actually matters. It matters if you take the trade at 10 o'clock versus one o'clock or whatever. And we're gonna illustrate that uh, in a minute. And we, we went through this in the previous research and we determined that there were a few times of day that were best for trading put credit spreads on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, you know that made a lot of sense when the bull market was there. But now that the market, we're in a bear market and, and things are changing, it's a lot more volatile. Um, the time of day uh, still matters, but it leads to the next concept that the time of day changes. So the best time of day tends to change over time. And our goal with time series trading is to better track the market to determine what days of the week are best to trade and what time of day on those days are best to trade. And all, all this analysis will lead into zero DTE as well as one and maybe two DTE trades, depending on the time frame you want to look at. So to illustrate these three concepts that each day is different, they behave differently, the time of day matters, and that the time of day changes over time, we're going to illustrate this using the uh, options Omega backtester to just show these concepts in action. All right, so we're inside of Options Omega and we're gonna back test a few things and really kind of compare the days of the week versus the time of the day so we can really illustrate the concepts we just went over. So I've got the first study up. This is a call credit spread where we are selling a call at Delta 45, buying a call at uh, five points wide or five points higher, I should say. We're gonna open this trade at 9.45 a.m. We're gonna do it every Monday. So the first thing we're going to compare is the days of the week. So every Monday, we're gonna take this trade. We're doing a $10,000 account and we're allocating 10% of this 10,000 per trade. And we're gonna take profits at 50% of the max profit. So a very basic setup, definitely not a recommendation. We're just here to illustrate uh, the different parameters and, and the concepts we covered. So the, the first thing we wanna look at really is just what did the P&L curve? And this is gonna tell us when there's winning streaks and losing streaks and just kind of up and down streaks, right? So we can see that, um, you know, initially in the two year back test, it did not do very well, uh, but then it had a nice win streak for about, a, you know, let's call it a month or so. And very, very choppy, there's a win streak, loss streak, small wins, losses. Ultimately, there was a, you know, ultimate downturn and and profitability here for a long time. But then when the bear market started, we'll call this uh, January, February or so, it actually did pretty well. So it kind of makes sense that bear, a bear spread would start to work, if you will, um, during a bear market, right? So let's keep that concept in our head right now. So on Monday, uh, we can see that there's a few winning streaks, and but a lot of it's really choppy and, and may not be tradable. It may seem kind of random to you if you want to call it that. So let's do the exact same study, but instead of Monday, we're going to do it on Wednesday. So I'm going to come in here and I'm simply just going to change the day of the week and I'm going to hit run and let's see what those results look like. And remember, um, the one I was kind of really remembering was on Monday, that call credit spread did really well during the bear market. But on Wednesday, that trade actually does not do very well in that same time period, that same 945 uh, trade. So that's, again, the one of the first concepts is each day needs to be treated differently. 
what you might be looking for on Monday is not the pro not going to be the same thing you're looking for on Wednesday. So we had some uh, better winning streaks here, uh, but ultimately really lost at the end. So let's do Friday, just, you know, kind of full comparison here. Now remember, and quick reminder during this time period, um, five expirations per week wasn't fully out. So we're just gonna compare Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because, you know, in 2021 or, or whatever, they didn't have Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we're just looking at Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So here's Friday. So Friday actually had a, a small win streak, but this is, you know, ultimately not a good strategy for Friday. So again, our first concept is that each day of the week should be treated differently. You cannot do the same trade every day of the week and expect it to work, right? So we learned this in the original research that we needed to treat each day differently, but I, I thought this was a good way to illustrate it if you're new to the course or kind of reminder and refresher. I think it's visually um, a little bit better to see that now. So again, that's the first concept. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to, let's, let's, just, go, let's just go to Wednesday and we're gonna do 945. So let's just look at Wednesday again, where we had a little bit of a win streak here and then ultimately it kind of rolled over. So the, the first concept, the day of the week matters. The second concept is the time of day matters. So we've, we did this trade at 945 AM. So we're gonna change this to 1145. We're gonna do it two hours later, just you know, randomly picking times here, just uh, so we can kind of just see that the, diff the, the changes. So, taking this call credit spread at 11.45 a.m. Um, actually did better in the first part of the backtest period, but ultimately was just kind of a loser all the way back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut these out and we can compare them side by side, but just understand that these shifts in profitability are what we're trying to find. And ultimately what we're trying to do is capture these streaks of wins and losses for each particular trade. So. In this, in this example, taking this trade at 11.45 during the September to um, January of 21 actually was a pretty good trade and it, then it stopped working and continued to not work for <laughs> the rest of uh, the look back period. So let's change the time one more time. We'll go a little bit farther out in the afternoon and we'll, we'll do two more hours. We'll do it at 1.45 p.m. and let's just see what that did. So taking this trade at 1.45 p.m. changes everything, doesn't it? It actually was a pretty good strategy for a very long time. It's been kind of choppy, but there's some really good win streaks in here. Uh, just to, again, illustrate the idea that the time of day that you take these trades actually matters. So we need some kind of analysis to distinguish, well, what time of day is best? Should we be going long or short? So we saw on this, we're, again, we're on Wednesday, we saw that selling the call credit spread um, over time, this was actually the best one, but there were still some nice win streaks in the other ones, uh, in the other time of day. So let's do the same test. I'm gonna go back to 945. And this time we're gonna do put credit spreads because we just wanna be able to see both sides of this. So we'll just stick with Wednesday for now. 9.45 a.m. And we're gonna shift this to a short put spread. Oh, that's a long put spread. Short put spread, there we go. And let's just see what selling put credits, put credit spreads in the morning did. So this one's really streaky. And, and th these are this is what we're really trying to find is this was a losing trade forever. And then uh, I'm, and by forever, I mean, let's, I'm gonna call that 10, 11 months. And then we had this really beautiful win streak from loosely July of 2021 through you know the end of the year or so. So this is what we're trying to find with time series analysis: is what time, what day of week, and what time of day can these can we find these win streaks and try to ride those as long as we can? Kind of like trend following in a sense. Got a little bit choppy, but ultimately did pretty well. And remember. This is a put credit spread and we're in a bear market, but this trade is actually doing really, really well in a bear market. So that's something else to keep in mind that even though we're in a bull market or bear market, these time of day uh, and day of week, there's still valid trades to be made. And it, it seems counterintuitive because you wanna be bearish every day. I get sucked into this as well. 
but there are periods of time where you can trade both sides of the market. So ignoring, I know this is hard to do, ignoring what the old big market is doing or the, the big trend is doing, um, I think is actually important because when you're talking about zero day stuff, um, you know, the market can go in both directions. So this was 9.45 a.m. put credit spread. Let's go back and change the time of day. We'll do 11.45. We'll just go two hours again like we did in the, the other test to be consistent here. And did pretty well, but you can see it's it's not, it did not do as well um, as the other one. However, there was a little bit of a win streak here. We caught the one win streak, some of the win streak, but it got really, really choppy. So again, just trying to illustrate that the time of day matters. It changes um, that performance a little bit over time. And we'll go 1.45 p.m. And we can see as we go later in the day, the strategy starts to, to perform worse, right? So again, day of week matters, time of day matters, and the time of day that's best actually changes over time. So those are the three main concepts I wanted to convey in this video. And lastly, let's just compare the PCS, CCS. So on the left, we have, I, I just took screenshots of those who, so we could see them by side, side by side. On the left, we have the 9.45 a.m. call credit spread the 11.45 call credit spread and the 1.45 p.m. call credit spread. So the time of day uh, changes the trajectory. You can see that the 11.45 call spread did pretty well for a while, much better than the 9.45. But then when uh, eventually the 9.45 started to work and the 11.45 kind of stopped working and then both of them kind of went downhill um, when, you know, let's call it when the bear market started or in, in late 2021. So counterintuitive a little bit, but we can see the 1.45 PM, you know, generally worked over time and was, you know, kind of a better trade than both of them really. So again, time of day changes that performance. And on the right, we're going to look at the put credit spread one. Again, this is for Wednesday, the 9.45 AM put credit spread did not work very well until it did. And then had a really good run for, I think we said that was uh, five, six months, something like that. Choppy, but ultimately resolved to the upside. And 11.45, uh, we can see actually started working a little bit, but then stopped working uh, before the first one stopped working. So again, the time of day, the shift matters uh, in, the, the, in the performance. And ultimately it, it resolved to the upside, but not as well as the 9.45. So it would be nice to know if at what point 945 is better than 1145 to take this trade. And then we went farther out the 145 PM time frame, and it actually just barely did not do well at all. Right. It, it had a little bit, I, I wouldn't even call this a win streak. This was just very minor. And, but ultimately is going from the top left to the bottom, right. And which is interesting because if we compare the put credit spread at 145 and the call credit spread at 145, obviously it was much better idea to be trading calls credit spreads later in the day than it was put credit spreads. So these are the things we're, we're going to be looking at with time series analysis is what day of the week and what time of the day is best to take certain trades. And that's all I got for this video and we'll see you in the next one.